Hey guys, today I'm going to model the Surefire Scout light and take you through the process. Uh, looking at the reference, it doesn't seem to be a particularly complicated object. It's split into a few different parts. There's a couple of uh, slightly complicated areas like these um, planar cutouts and, and these areas which I'm going to have to uh, make sure that I retain these hard edges here but also uh, retain the curvature of the cylindrical surface which is probably the most challenging aspect of the whole model. Uh, you've got this knurled area here as well which could easily be done in displacement but I'm just going to model it because I've got a pretty fast method of modeling these knurled surfaces. Uh, and, then, and then just these um, little holes here are going to be a little challenging but providing I've got enough uh, radial segments in this cylinder then this should uh, pose no real problem at all. Uh, just another reference, you see it's got like a lens in the front which I'll, I'll model and this push button which uh, I'll make this anyway just in case I want to use it later but I'll probably use this push button instead because I think it looks nicer on the whole gun. So we've got another knurled area which probably for a game mesh is way too detailed, nothing will show up so I'll actually enlarge the detail of the knurled surface so it shows up in the game model in, in the normal map bake. So that's about it. Uh, we'll get right to it and hope you learn something. Again, drop any questions if you've got any. And um, see you on the other side.
So here's the final model in all its glory. You can see I enlarged some of the nilled surface here to show up better in the normal map bake. See the detail looks really good and it holds up at a distance. And everything's pretty clean and will bake into the normal map well and reads from close up but it also reads pretty well from a distance as well. Have a look at the topology, the final topology. You'll see it's pretty clean. You know what's going on. And everything's built in a way that we can soften and harden edge loops pretty easily as well. And let's see what it looks like on the final gun. Pretty cool, I think. Okay, on to tomorrow. If you got any comments or you want to see anything specific built or taught, just drop me a message and let me know. And I'll do my best to try and cover it. Cheers, bye.